was interested in how far wrecks of ships actually impacted the landscape and wildlife, so I asked Sam Gill, an environmentalist, to demonstrate his techniques in freediving in Gunwallow's Church Cove. As Sam is taking me through the correct technique to freediving in rough waters, I am excited to potentially discover the underwater wreck of the ski dam that has been buried for many years under the shifting sands. But I become concerned about the force of the waves. I realise that the wreck site just below me is dynamic and subject to rough Atlantic swells. At one point I thought we were going to get stranded over there, the waves are so big, but you just sort of got on with it, it was great. <laughs> yeah, there was a few moments over there where I was just calmly terrified on the inside, but it was all alright. <laughs> you didn't show it, you didn't show it, you kept your, your confidence, which is great. Right, should we go and sit down more? Yeah. We'll have a chat about what you do. So Sam, you must see so much of the seabed when you're going out there and doing your free diving. Can you tell me of any examples of when it's really impacted the landscape or the, or the seabed? Um, so wrecks form like they form like a structural component of um, down in the rocks, so they're like a, a an unnatural reef. So you get all different kinds of fish that like to go around them. I mean, you get um, you can get like entire shoals of sharks and stuff coming around. So there'll be like uh, spur dogs, which are like a giant kind of dogfish. They, they love it and they'll come in like droves around reefs and then you get um, other fish like balan wrasse which are like the huge colourful, they look like they're tropical fish but, and they don't belong, they, it feels like they don't belong in Cornwall but they're definitely at home. These shipwrecks, they're not only affecting and impacting the landscape, they're providing wildlife a, a new habitat but they're also replenishing local supplies and giving something new for communities and, and in a way that's still going on because it's now like, you're a new generation of, of historians slash environmentalists <laughs> and you're also reaping the benefits of these wrecks so it's really quite beautiful in a way. It is definitely. Um, I'd definitely say like you have the short term benefit was back in the day they would come ashore and it would be a great bounty of goods washing up. I mean only recently there was um, that huge cargo ship that washed up and it brought in all of those like mopeds and they disappeared instantly. The wrecking spirit's not gone and then you come in later down the line and as it forms a, a reef environment these become hot spots for fishermen and in areas like Lou and Polpero up in East Cornwall where I come from they really are like local gems and they can completely revitalise and bring different fish species into keep so they definitely feed the community and they provide an incredible environment for um, yeah. I realised how far the natural world could be shaped by shipwrecks. <laughs> 